Hi, my name is Jamie Stotts Painter and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we are going to make this angled gatefold card that I have here. And I've got the measurements for the card on the side. I'm going to have some of the work done for you, but I thought I would show you right away what some of it is like. So I got this from the Mini Occasions Catalog um, from January through June of 2022 using my Daffodil Afternoon Paper. So you can see the variety of paper. This one, I just got a small piece because I'm using it. But they have some beautiful paper. I use the Daffodil Daydream stamp set. And I am using my Stitch So Sweetly dies that I have. Okay. So what the card looks like is, it's you can either have it where you have a belt on it, or that you can just do it plain. So on this card that I did is another alternative I did um, with a belt fold to hold it closed. And then, then I just did the little inside to tie it together. So if you want to have something that's held closed, you can put this on it. Um, but since I sell a lot of my stuff at craft fairs, um, when I put them in the envelope, then people have to take everything off to fold it. Where this way I don't have to and they can just look at it. And what you'll see here is I took a little piece of the paper that I'm using here and cut a little flower to kind of tie this together rather than put a strip down as I did in the other paper. So I've got the daffodil afternoon paper the same on this side and the same on this side. Now you can do it where you would just leave a solid color on the other side um, if you wanted contrasting. So on the back side of this is a yellow with just straight daffodils. You could have put that as well. Um, I just decided to try it this way. Okay, so let's get going on what we're going to do for this card. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the paper that we are doing. And I'm going to leave the card up here. And I'm going to put the directions right here off to the side. So hopefully you can still see that. There, we'll put it a little over. Okay. So what I did is I cut some of my paper already so I can have um, it done quick and easy. So what this is, is the paper is originally five and a half or five and a half down by 11 inches this way. And I have it scored at three and three eighths and seven and five eighths. Then I've got my piece of white cardstock, which I'm going to put in the middle. And then again, I'm going to attach a little piece of this flower. And this is how I use the end pieces of the paper so this is the outside like this would be here in this little um, daisy um, and then I attach it there so it looks like after I cut it out it looks like I intentionally cut it out. I'm going to use four pieces of uh, designer series paper um, three and a quarter by five and a quarter and you'll see that what I've done is I've got two different sides. Now the key part for this is that you have to make sure that you are, um, when you're cutting it, you know which direction you want it to go. So I wanted it to go this way. So when I was cutting it, I put it in this way to get my five and one quarter. And the same with this. I didn't want it going sideways like this on my paper. So I had to cut it that way. And then I have my Stitch So Sweetly scallops with my daffodil on top and then I just cut another piece of paper once I got it there I squared it around it okay so the key to this card is there are two cuts and that's all there is is two cuts and the two cuts are the same for this side as well as for these inside pieces and outside pieces But what I'm going to show you is, is how I do it just on this one, and it's exactly the same on the outside and the inside. Now, the only thing that you'll have to watch, and I'll show you that in a minute, is when you're doing this, you have to remember, this is going to go on one side here, okay? And then this one is going to go over here. So you have to flip the card over when you're cutting it. Otherwise, you're not. You're going to get two pieces that look the same, and you need to get it to go on this outside piece. Okay. So when I take my 
cutter. You know, you've got one side that's the cutter, and the other side here is a score on my uh, stamp cut emboss. And what you will see is on this, you have a one inch marker and a one and a half inch marker, which is the edge of this paper. So the key for both this side and this, because they are the same when they start out on the side, is you're going to take and you want to get right where the cutting edge is on the edge of your paper. And then you're going to do your first cut is going to be at an inch and a half. So I want to get it here to an inch and a half. And then I want to get here right to the inside. Okay. So now you see that because I did that, it's going to look on the side here. So it is looking different. Where if you started on that corner and went down, which is what you would do for here, you would have put this one here and this corner would have come to an inch and a half. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking the, so I just cut this. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to move it and put this cut in the corner or the groove. And this one goes to one inch. Now, what you're going to see here is different is it's not going to be exact. And if it's not exact, it kind of drives me nuts. But um, so what I have to do is I'm first going to go and I'm going to glue this piece on. Because I know I've got that one the right size. Okay, so now for this piece, you can see I got a little extra over there, same amount here, same amount there. So if I put it to the exact same spot here, you can see I've got a little more there, so I'm okay with that. And actually, this one came out pretty close, which surprises me because usually I don't get that lucky. You can see it's a little bit longer down there. So we're going to just go ahead and glue it. What I usually end up having to do is I usually end up having to trim just a little bit more to make it look the same on each side. And again, that's what's important to me when I'm doing it, that I like all my lines to look even. Or as close to even, I should say. And that's why I like my Tombow glue, because you saw how I was fidgeting it to get it to be the same size. So now you can see this is what this looks like. Next I'm going to do is glue my white piece of paper inside just so you can see what the what it looks like and that way it also gives me a better idea for when I am gluing the other pieces on and then I'm going to quickly cut this. I'm going to put a little glue on it. And the only thing you have to know about doing this is the glue has to be, uh, or the edge has to be on the flat side, so wherever you want it. So this time I'm going to put it up here. My card that I did before, I put it on the bottom. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take these two pieces and glue them on. And what I always do is I always start with my right side but I always like to make sure after I've cut it all so again remembering I cut it down this way to one and a half and then from this point I cut to here to an inch this point I flipped over cut to one and a half and down to an inch this way so that they fit this is called an angled gatefold card and it took a little bit more fussiness then I guess I'm used to on my fun folds, but I still, I just love fun folds. So, okay, then we're going to go with this one. And the other thing you'll see is over here, I always have my cardstock layers. So, uh, the normal face of the card, which would be, this is the back side, is four and a quarter by five and a half. 
So because of that, my first layer inside here is four inches by five and a quarter. So everything goes down by a quarter. So if you have, say you're not good at fractions, just think four quarters to a dollar. Well, it takes four different quarters. So 325, 350, 375, and four. So that should help you. I used to have to think about things like this when I was working with my uh, son when we were going through fractions when they were little kids. So this helped me. Okay, so now you've got the front of your card. So now what I can do is say, okay, look how far that goes down and this goes down, not as far, but a little bit more. So I'm going to take um, this and I'm just going to trim just a little bit so it doesn't look as wide and you'll see it didn't hurt that part and this side has a little bit more i can do the same so now it looks a little bit less even or a little less oops a little bit more right up there one there we go so it's a little more even there and a little more even here, and you're not really going to tell the difference on this. Okay, so that's for my cutting. Next you're going to be doing is coloring. So whenever you're using stamping blends, I've got my Daffodil Delight. And on this card, you saw that I chose the white outer part with the yellow. Um, I could have chosen yellow and then just on the, the petals and then just put a little yellow there. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for this one. But because I'm gonna do that, and because of how um, this will look just a little bit different, I wanna put, and I store all my blends in these little stamp cases because it's a lot easier for me to access. Let's see. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put some dark color in here on the lines. And then what I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna also because you see how it's darker up there. I'm just going to put a little darkness around all of this edges here. Just to give that same look. And then I'm going to take my light daffodil and I'm going to blend it. So you can see by how I'm coloring, I'm just going in circles and it's basically taking the dark and the light and putting it together and by doing that you are going to get just a little bit different color and it's going to look like it'll look well it'll look nice so again i used a little different there now i'm going to take my dark uh old olive and my light old olive and what you see here is um, i found by using this one this is pear pizzazz the light color and this is um Evening Evergreen is the dark color, but I found that I like the Old Olive looks a little bit better when you're using the blends for this. And when you're looking on your marker, you can see here, you can see which is the thin tip and which is the thick tip. So when I'm doing it, I always want to use the thin tip because this is a thin piece. And the last time I did this, I didn't, I used the thin piece. And you can see I'm just putting little dashes everywhere of the dark. Um, and I got color everywhere that I didn't want it. So it's a little harder to blend when you're doing little pieces, but it is possible. Now the nice piece about this is when you look at this for the uh, Stampin' Up, they were smart enough to know there were people in the world like me. Um, who are terrible colors, um, and I have a really hard time getting trying to stay in the line. I must have failed that class when I was in uh, kindergarten. And what you can do is they have what's called a color lifter, and it picks up color that you have. So like here, if I wanted to take this and just get a little bit of this green here, um, I would it would it'll come off by doing that so that is what I did on this card because I got a lot more green here than I wanted outside of the leaf now the other thing that you can do and then I'm going to take this and glue it actually 
obviously I don't want that in there. So I'm blending. Um, so you can see what I did is I tried to match it to this one. So you can do one of two things. You can put a belly band, which is about an inch and a half, or an, not an inch, uh, three quarters to an inch around. And then you score it at um, here, three and three eighths. And then the next one would be at seven and three quarters. Um, that way it's just, or a little less than seven and three quarters. So it just goes around this when it folds nice. You want to have the score lines because if you don't have the score lines, what ends up happening is the paper starts, doesn't fold as nicely. But I didn't want to do that on mine. And so I'm just going to take this one and I'm only going to glue half of it. Let's see, this half. And I always get this messed up when I'm putting it together because you want to make sure it is. Now for this, I could have gone and put the left side forward or the right side. So it really doesn't make a difference. But now because I've glued this part, that's where I want to go. And I'm going to put it about halfway in between. And there you have it, your angled gatefold card. And the direction, again... I have all the things that you need here, other than I forgot to put the paper on there, the Daffodil Afternoon. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. My name is Badger Mom Stamps, or Jamie Stutz Painter at BadgerMomStamps at gmail.com. And have a wonderful day. Bye now.